Hello everyone, Ninja Grim here. So recently I've been getting a lot of comments about my mods in Fallout 4. Mainly most of them have been about the visual side of things. And it took a subscriber, Adrian off Adrian off93, to point out that I was supposed to put out a video already about an update to my body cam mod. Uh, about a year ago, I created a body cam mod. For Fallout 4 and basically it changed the weapon inertia for the weapons in the game. Uh, if you know vanilla, the weapons are basically stuck on screen and this adds some weight to the uh, in, you know, in the opposite direction. I can do to lighten the load or you know if you need anything from Fred. So the updated part is obviously what you're seeing here and this is uh, Pretty much how body cams look um the camera's on the chest and when the you aim it's kind of above it so i want to go ahead and go over this and show you guys how to do this i know this is pretty niche but um i think it's kind of neat it's a immersive at times it's annoying at other times but uh again shout out to adrian off 93 uh this one's for you bud so do a little testing here to kind of show you uh, what it looks like. Uh, it is a little difficult to aim at times, uh, but a laser sight helps. And if you have bullet tracers, you can kind of see where your bullets are going. So you can kind of guide them to your target. So it's really not that difficult. But yeah, let's get into it. So what you're going to want to do is head over to Nexus Mods. Um, I guess don't really pay attention to that. Uh, and what you want to do is search for Side Aim. So what this mod does is it adds a framework to your weapons to give you a Side Aim, which um, is kind of like in the new Call of Duty or whatever. So I use Combined Arms. These are just added weapons to the game. They're a little bit more modern. Um, but this will take you to where you need to go to download the side aim framework. So once you uh, click on combined arms, you click requirements. Uh, these are the mods that you can use with the side aim. You don't have to, but there's a list of compatible weapons that allow you to do this. Uh, now, unfortunately, this is a Discord invitation, so you need to be a member of their Discord. Some people don't care. I don't, but I can understand if you do. Uh, so when you, you click here on the Sidearm Framework Discord invitation, that'll take you to their Discord page. Now, on the left side here, you want to scroll down to Sidearm Download. Uh, I recommend to read all of this. Don't skip over it. This is a list of all the compatible weapons for the side aim framework. And there are some hard requirements, the Fallout Script Extender, the MCM, and address library for the Script Extender plugins. Make sure you have those downloaded first. Uh, I recommend uh, holding off on the latest version of the script extender uh, i'll let you know what uh, version i have installed i didn't update anything for the new patch i've i've locked all my mods to not update so i'll uh, try to remember that so you scroll down there's a lot of uh, updates for this the latest one is 1.6.1 and make sure to get the english version uh this the this will tell you how to install it just go ahead and get that installed once you have that installed, just go ahead back into the game. Uh, once you're in the game, uh, what this mod does is it allows you to have uh, canted sights. Which um, is fun. I, I, I dig it. I like kind of uh, playing tactical, you know, even have a lean and peek. This is from an educated shooter. Um, so this allows you to have side aim for certain weapons. And in that list, all those weapons are compatible. Now what it does have also is when you press F4, there's a little menu that comes up. 
and this is what we're going to use to change the camera. This is mainly for tuning the uh, siding because sometimes it doesn't line up. It just looks weird. So you can change how this view looks. So if we go back to the Glock, you can see that it's regular. And you press F4, and you can raise the weapon. So you want the Z axis. So there's X that goes left and right. Y that goes in and out. Z goes up and down. So first we're going to change the Z axis. We're going to lift it up. I usually use about 15. And the X axis, we're going to move it to the right. I usually use about 4. And then you press F4 again. And there you have it. It's really that simple. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it's taking me so long to make this video. Um, now I want to go over the caveat. Um, if your weapon that you're using is not in the list of compatible weapons for the side aim framework, this does not save. Okay, it's extremely annoying. So if you change to a weapon, you go back to the weapon, it doesn't save. So you have to do this every time. It can be annoying. Whatever. Deal with it. Now what you can do is inside the Discord page, right under the download, there's a side aim patch tutorial. This will show you how to insert any weapon you want into the side aim framework that allows you to save. So if you wanted to put the Glock in there, let's say you follow this tutorial and it'll show you how to add these any weapon into the framework so you can save these settings. So you can insert any weapon you want into the framework, uh, but you have to follow that tutorial. I don't know how to do that, so I'm not going to tell you how. And uh, that's basically it. Now, I do want to go over a couple of more things. Uh, first is the hotkeys for the siding framework. Uh, when you open up your menu, uh, you go to the mod configuration menu, it's your MCM, and you go down to side aim framework. You click on side aim framework and there will be hotkeys. Uh, this allows the canted sight hotkey to be applied. And this mod also comes with uh, semi and automatic mode switching. So weapons that have full auto, you can set a hotkey to switch it to single fire, which is useful. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. So once you have those set, uh, that's what allows you to click the side aim to toggle it. Now, another thing is when you're tuning the side aim, let's say for weapons that don't have it, if you click the side aim button, it doesn't do anything. And then when you click F4, that's what brings up the menu. But if you're having difficulty with weapons that do have side aim, uh, you need to be in side aim first before you click F4. And then you can tune from here. Uh, if it's straight and you click it, it doesn't have the side aim activated and you end up changing, you know, the way the gun looks normally. So just be careful uh, not to... Oh dang, I just broke my game. <laughs> Shit. So yeah, that about covers it. Uh, last thing is when you combine it with the body cam that I created, or the reshade, um, it kind of gives the overall... look and feel of a traditional body cam. Uh, so that covers it, man. Uh, Adrianoff93, thanks for reminding me. I'm the Ninja Grim for NGRT. And I'm gone.